I'm sure we all know by now the fashion in the new Mean Girls movie was a train wreck. The fashion wasn't representative of the characters and was reminiscent of 2020 micro trends. I'm not going to spend too much time critiquing because I already did, but today I will be trying my hand at restyling Mean Girls 2024 and seeing if I can do any better. Let's start with Gretchen, because her style is my favorite. In the new movie, her new style isn't very reflective of her character's personality. She wears a lot of corsetry, like this gray corset top and that pink corset top with her bra showing. I think personality-wise, Gretchen would consider bra showing to be a little bit tacky. And I'd also say that most of her outfits look unfinished and lack that classy element that she likes to have in her style. Gretchen in the 2004 movie has the preppiest style and the boldest style. She loves plaid and she also likes peach and orange shades. Her style is the most conservative of the group, consisting of the longest hemlines. She is also the wealthiest of the group and would probably be the most obvious about wearing name brand designer. For a modern take on her style, I'd style her in Mary Jane's, riding boots, sweater vests, and plaid skirts and dresses. Her favorite brands would be Chanel, Miu Miu, and of course, Burberry. Berry. First, pink Wednesday outfit. I styled her in this pink short sleeve Chanel sweater, this light pink Burberry mini skirt kilt, the Chanel patent leather mules, and lastly, this Miu Miu top handle bag. For a more everyday look, I styled Gretchen in this cropped white Max Mara sweater vest. This is like if a sweater vest slayed. This peach and purple House of Holland mini skirt kilt. These nudish peach Nodaletto Ula Baby Mary Janes. And this peach top flap Chanel bag. For her spring fling dress, I styled Gretchen in this Shushu Tong Peter Pan collar gray mini dress. These black and white Miu Miu bow pumps. This Alaya heart shaped bag. And these Chanel heart studs because obviously hoops are Regina's thing. Next we have Karen. In the new movie, Karen's clothing most fit her style. She wears a lot of bright colors like these cardigans and this purple pastel outfit, but a lot of the things that they put her in looked very mass produced. Her style is definitely a lot more youthful than the other girls, but still very sexy. She likes simple shape designs like stars and stripes. And she also likes slogan tops. She has a very innocent and feminine color palette consisting mainly of pastel blues, whites, and soft pinks. For a modern take on Karen, I style her in short skirts, tank tops, ballet flats, florals, and ribbon clothing for a more coquette leaning style. Her favorite brands would be Blue Marine, Sandy Liang, Heaven by Marc Jacobs, and Pretties. For Karen's pink outfit, I styled her in this floral Sandy Liang tuber tank top and with the matching curry cardigan that she could wear as a set. Then I would give her the Guzio heart skirt in the color baby pink. Then I'd give her these blue marine butterfly heels. This is a callback to the butterfly socks that were in the new movie, just done in a way that is just better. Lastly, I would give her this praying God's favorite pink purse. For a more everyday look, I'd give Karen this white v-neck cha-cha dress from the brand Pretties, these light blue patent leather one strap ballet flats from the brand Alaya, and this light blue blue marine purse. I also like that it's a crossbody because I feel like Karen would prefer a crossbody bag so that she can have her hands free. She also wears a crossbody purse in the OG movie. And for her spring fling outfit, I gave Karen this floral underwire slip dress from the brand Mirror Palais, these white bow heels from the brand Match and & Match, and these bow earrings from the brand Shushu Tong. Okay, so now we'll do Regina. In the new movie, she wears a lot of baggy clothing, like the pink cargo pants, the all leather outfit, and this look with the pink puffer vest. 
In the OG movie, her style is more hyper-feminine and sophisticated. She likes leather, black, pink, and red. She enjoys wearing classy and timeless silhouettes like off-the-shoulder tops, fitted cardigans, and even collared button-ups. For a modern take, I see her in pleated miniskirts, heeled boots, kitten heels, and simple but elevated basics. Her favorite brands would be Versace, IMGia, and Dior. And side note, the makeup she would like would also be Dior, not Elf. I liked the idea of giving Regina a darker color palette for this styling, kind of to show her dominance among the group. So I noticed for the on Wednesdays we wear pink outfits, she doesn't necessarily take the whole pink thing as seriously as the other girls. In the OG movie, she was wearing like one pink item while the other girls were wearing a lot more pink, like head to toe pink. And she even eventually ends up taking her one pink item off, which I found interesting. So she kind of has a lack of reverence for the rules that she created. And you can also tell this when she still tries to sit at their table, even though she's wearing sweatpants. I also wanted to show that we could have done pants for her in a way that worked, in a way that was more feminine and elevated because I do realize that the actress preferred pants. So I kind of wanted to show what that would look like. For her top, I styled her in this light pink Aria cami from the brand Peachy Den, these leather lace-up pants from the brand IMGia, these really, really sick Dior heeled boots, and lastly, this Dior bondage handbag from their 2003 collection. I was also really inspired by this black and red look that she had in the OG movie. So I kind of wanted to play on that. So I styled her in this mirror palais black corset top. This also adds to the aspect of her being better than everyone and making everyone jealous because if a girl casually pulled up to my high school in mirror palais, I would be seething with jealousy. So this black mirror palais top, this meow burgundy mini skirt, and then this burgundy Burberry shield sling bag, and lastly, these Louboutin Rosalie heels. And for her spring fling look, I styled her in this iridescent dark pink dress by the brand Daniel Guzio, and these Giuseppe pink alien heels. Okay, so now Janice. In the new movie, she wears a lot more colors and trendy prints but I feel her character would not dress as trendy as they styled her she wants to be different she shows a lot of her anti-plastic sentiments through her clothing I'd style her in more of an alternative grunge style for a modern take she'd be in combat boots chunky shoes interesting layers oversized clothing and menswear she would also make her own clothes and thrift her favorite brands would be Trip NYC, Demonia, and Unif. I'd style her in this blue and black Kalina Strata top, the Trip NYC strength skirt, and then I feel like she wouldn't want to show her body as much, so I put her in an oversized punk style battle vest, something that she probably would have made herself, and added patches that were more unique to her and what kind of music taste she would like. I gave her these Demonia Assault 218 boots and this gray crossbody messenger bag from the brand Open YY. And for her next outfit, I gave her this striped sweater from the brand Jean Paul Gaultier, these dark green wide leg pants from the brand Jinko Jeans, these new rock platform shoes, and this gray and black messenger bag from the brand Unif. So lastly, we are styling Katie. So in the new movie, her style is very outdated with most of her outfits having an early 2010s vibe. She is in a lot of stripes as well. We also don't get to see much of a style progression from when she first enters the school to when she is fully initiated as a plastic. Her style is an amalgamation of everyone else's style to show that she's becoming them. She wears soft blues and pinks like Karen, plaid skirts like Gretchen, and a name initial necklace like Regina. Her favorite brands would be Urban Outfitters and Motel Rocks less high-end brands that would still allow her to get that plastic look. 
I'd style her in a very basic wardrobe to start and progressively getting more feminine as time goes on. I like how in the new movie they made her style more dominantly blue and when she did take over Regina's reign, she had all the other girls wearing blue as opposed to pink, kind of to show that she had finally taken over. So I'm going to stick with that blue theme. I styled her in this light blue off the shoulder top from Urban Outfitters. The brand is Silence and Noise. I really like this Diamante like flower pattern it has on the side. Next, I gave her these Urban Outfitters flare jeans. I also really like the pocket detail that it has near the top. It kind of gives it a little bit something different slash extra. And then I gave her a pair of basic white Converse. This next outfit kind of replaces her takeover outfit that she was wearing before, which I didn't love. It didn't feel all that elevated or fashionable. So it is similar, but I think this is a bit better. I gave her this navy blue lace corset cami from the brand House of CB, black ruffle miniskirt from the brand Motel Rocks, and these studded heeled boots from the brand Steve Madden. Let me know which outfit is you guys' favorite, what you liked, what you didn't like, how you would have styled the girls. Thank you for watching. Bye.